والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد I'm hoping uh, there's some quiet upstairs inshallah on the sister side if uh, the volunteers can just confirm inshallah we're okay to proceed yes any sisters that want to speak then mashallah they can they can take a break and go outside and speak Alhamdulillah, we've got the go-ahead, mashallah. Um, so tonight, of course, is the 21st night of Ramadan. And when you think about it, subhanAllah, where have the last 20 nights gone? Um, this month has literally flown by. And the truth is, the next 10 nights will fly by as well. Uh, but these are the most important nights of the entire year. When you think about your year, Realize that what's coming up now, these are the most important nights. These are the most blessed nights of the entire year. Um, the last 10 nights which begin from the 21st night, uh, the Prophet as Aisha mentions, uh, he would dedicate himself in these last 10 nights to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, the hadith mentions that the Prophet والسلام, would stay up at night. He would give life to the night. Meaning what? That this was a time of ibadah. This was a time of worship. This was a time that the Prophet والسلام, would dedicate himself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And not only that, he would also awaken the family. Which shows that subhanAllah, the Prophet والسلام, didn't want his family to miss out on the barakah, the blessings of these last 10 nights. Because in these last 10 nights, what do we have? We have Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr khayrun min al fishar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the night of power, which is one of these last 10 nights, this is better than a thousand months. It's better than 83 years. What you do in this night, now tonight could be Laylatul Qadr. We don't know when is Laylatul Qadr. Tonight could be Laylatul Qadr. What you do tonight is better than what you would do over a thousand months. That's the fadl and the virtue of Laylatul Qadr. So this is a time that we need to really get serious. Now, we might have wasted some of the past days. We might not have fully utilized our time so far in Ramadan. What's happened, happened. Now we have to focus on what's coming. The next 10 nights. And we have to have a sincere commitment and dedication that we are not going to waste these 10 nights. The Prophet Ali in order to really uh, make sure that he didn't miss out on anything in these last 10 nights, he would do what? He would perform ittikaf. He would dedicate, he would seclude himself in the masjid for 10 nights. Why? Because he was seeking this night of Laylatul Qadr. He didn't want to miss out on Laylatul Qadr. And this, of course, for you and I, this is a roadmap for us to follow when it comes to the Prophet ﷺ and how he treated these last 10 nights. Now, the question many people have is when is Laylatul Qadr? You'll see, mashallah, the, the masjid is more full today because we're entering into the last 10 nights. It's the first of the odd nights. Um, but you will all obviously, I mean, you will all notice that on the 27th night, the masjid is like, and subhanAllah, people are praying everywhere. And we have this mentality or this misunderstanding that the 27th night is Laylatul Qadr. Okay, so that's it. Just make sure you're in the masjid for the 27th night. Whatever else happens throughout Ramadan, it doesn't matter. You get the 27th night, you hit the jackpot. No. And there's no guarantee that the 27th night is a night. The Prophet ﷺ said, what, seek Laylatul Qadr in the odd nights of the last 10. Yes, other hadith actually indicate that it could be even, some of the, it could be even an even night. Imam Nawawi, rahimullah, he said that actually Laylatul Qadr changes every year. The night changes every year. There's no fixed night. And this makes sense because why then would the Prophet ﷺ yani dedicate the whole 10 nights to show us what? That you don't know when it is. Don't miss out on what Laylatul Qadr contains. So the question is, what should we be doing in Laylatul Qadr? The first thing is, is that the, the night in, of course, Islam starts from when? It starts from Maghrib. So from Maghrib till Fajr, this is the key time. This is the blessed time. This is the time that we cannot waste. Okay, we cannot waste this time. Yeah, so we have to ensure that we are uh, praying our Isha in Jama'ah. That's the first thing. Yes, the Prophet ﷺ, he said, uh, whoever prays his Isha in Jama'ah, it's like he's prayed half the night. And if you pray your Fajr in Jama'ah as well, it's like you've prayed the whole night. That make that a, a target. That actually for the next 10 nights, I'm going to pray my Isha in Jama'ah and I'm going to pray my Fajr in Jama'ah. Yes, you make that intention, you make that effort. You will have the whole night in prayer. Of course, the Prophet والسلام, he also taught us that Man qama ma al -imam hatta yansarif kutiba lahu qiyamu layl. That the one who stands, oh, kama qala والسلام, the one who stands with the Imam until the Imam finishes. 
yes, will have written down that he stood the whole night in prayer. So when the Imam starts for Isha, you pray with him until the witr. Inshallah, you will get written down that you stood the whole night in prayer. Yes, of course, throughout the night, increasing in your ibadah, making extra tasbih, istighfar, dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We know that dua in Ramadan, in these nights is blessed. If you look at the whole passage in the Quran that talks about Ramadan and fasting, right in the middle, we have an ayah where Allah says, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ Right in the middle of the passage on fasting, we have an ayah that just comes in, where Allah says, and if they ask you about me, I am close. I respond to the call of the caller when he calls upon me. Call upon Allah in these nights. Ask Allah in these nights. You should have a list of du'as. What is it that I'm going to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for? What is it that I, I, I want from Allah when it comes to my deen, when it comes to my dunya, when it comes to my children, when it comes to my parents, when it comes to my akhirah? And you have a list of things that you're going to ask Allah for and in these nights. So du'a is very important. Of course, the Prophet ﷺ taught us a very special supplication. When Aisha asked the Prophet ﷺ that if I find Lila Duqada, what should I do? And he وسلم, taught us a dua. Allahumma innaka afoon tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. This should be constantly on our tongues in these nights. Allahumma innaka afoon tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. And what does that mean? Oh Allah, you are the one who loves to pardon. You are the one who loves to erase. Oh Allah, erase my sins. And you know, afu is different from uh, yeah, any, uh, um, forgiveness. Afu means where Allah erases that sin as if the sin never even existed. We're asking Allah, oh Allah, erase the sin like it never even existed. Not just forgive it, erase it like it never even existed. Why? Because you love to forgive. You love to erase sins. So erase my sins. This should be constant. This is what the Prophet ﷺ, when he was asked that question, he could have said anything. If you find yourself on Laylatul Qadr, do X, do Y, do... No, he said, make this dua. So this dua we should learn and we should make sure we're making it continuously through these nights uh, in Laylatul Qadr. And what could be Laylatul Qadr? Of course, giving sadaqah is also something which is highly recommended in these nights. Imagine you give one pound in sadaqah and it's Laylatul Qadr. That's like any over 30,000 pounds. And that's like giving one pound for a thousand months. Yes? One pound. So every night give something in sadaqah. There are so many charities, you can choose whichever one. There's one here tonight and over the next few nights there will be opportunities. And there are others online that you can give to. But give something every night. Yes, Quran, reading the Quran. And the point being is that don't waste these nights, my dear brothers and sisters. These are precious nights. How many have passed on would, would, would and love to come back and worship Allah in one of these nights? And subhanAllah, we got news today, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un from a brother that his father-in-law has passed away. And he passed away today. He's not lived to see the first of the odd nights. Yes, and his janazah inshallah will be tomorrow after Salat al You're all requested to attend. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the next stage easy for him. So, in conclusion, my dear brothers and sisters, this, these are nights that we cannot waste. These are nights that we have to make, the use, uh, make full use of. And these are nights of tawbah, of istighfar, of coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now at the masjid, we will be having qiyam, an additional qiyam at 12 a.m. every night for the next 10 nights inshallah. So we will finish our taraweeh uh, and our witr. So those who, for example, can't stay or they need to go home, they will inshallah pray the full taraweeh and witr with the imam and they can go. Those who would like to stay or would like to come back and pray additional PM, they can come back at 12 o'clock inshallah and at 12 o'clock we will pay, pray an additional eight rak'ah okay and then there will be a witr and i'll explain what to do with the witr for those who are staying behind but there will be an, an additional witr inshallah um, and the idea is is that it will be around an hour hour around an hour or so in, in terms of time and the reason for that is because we are planning on doing a khatam on the 29th night inshallah and in order to do that we have to make up in these last 10 nights what we've been missing in the first 20 nights um, of course when we finish our taraweeh there are people who are going to want to stay behind that's fine you can stay behind more than welcome but the main hall is used for what the main hall is used for those who are making their du'as reading their quran doing extra salah the main hall is not for chatting Okay, respectfully, if you want to chat, then mashallah, we have a marquee outside, we'll make sure the heating is on. You can go in there and have a nice, nice gupshap, yes? I understand, look, people want to have a bit of a rest after taraweeh. Mashallah, we have this uh, karak chai every night for the next 10 nights. You can get yourself some tea, you can have a break, you can speak, but do that in the marquee. 
Yes, in the main hall is for people, we have people who are doing itikaf, they've sacrificed the next 10 nights, the next 10 days, they've sacrificed family, work, etc. They're going to be in here and they want to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, once you've prayed your taraweeh, please, if you're not yani, doing your ibadah, then please leave the main hall, inshallah. Yes, so the main hall is for those who want to worship in these nights. Um, of course, we will have uh, Quran halaqa with Sheikh Abdul Rahman after Fajr. Uh, there will be reminders after Dhor, different speakers coming. Um, and there will be other programs, inshallah, which will be advertised in the, in the coming days. Now, with regards to the witr, just to finish off, as I said, I know many people have this question. What do we do if we're staying behind and we want to pray additional qiyam? What do we do with our witr? Why? Because you can't pray two witrs in one night. Okay, you can't pray two witters in one night. So that's the key thing that you need to remember. So what then do I do? If I'm praying uh, eight rakat raweeh, do I pray that witter and then come back? Or what are my different options? There are three basic options that you have. Yes, or three things which are all permissible for you to do. Number one is you pray your isha, you pray your eight rakat of taraweeh, and you pray your witter behind the imam. And then you go and you come back for Qiyam. When you come back for Qiyam, what do you do? You just pray the eight rakah of Qiyam. You don't pray the additional witr. This is permissible. Ideally, the witr should be the last prayer, but this is permissible. Okay, that's option number one. What's option number one? Pray the witr when? Yes, after the taraweeh. After the eight rakah of taraweeh, you pray your witr, and then you come back and you just pray eight rakah of qiyam. You don't pray that additional witr. That's option one. Option two is you pray um, eight rakah, you pray your isha, you pray eight rakah with the imam. When it comes for witr, you do not join him for witr. Yes, you can leave. And when you come back for qiyam, you pray eight rakah of qiyam and you pray the second witr. Okay, that way the, the, the last prayer that you're praying is witr, which is what is normally recommended. That's option number two. Clear? Yeah. It's following me, yeah? Crystal. Crystal clear, mashallah. Okay, and the third option is that you pray Isha with the Imam, you pray eight rak'ah, and when it comes to the witr, you pray the first two rak'ah of, of, of Shafa with, with the Shaykh. And when it comes to that one rak'ah, after praying that one rak'ah, yes, instead of doing salam, you stand up. Yes, you'll have seen this. Yes, you stand up and you make that into a two rak'ah prayer. Okay, so it's no longer a, a one witr. It's actually a Shafa. It's a two, it's a two rak'ah prayer. You stand up and you complete the second rak'ah. So the Imam has finished. He's done the, the one witr, he's done the dua, he's gone into sujood, he's done the salam. When he does the salam, you stand up. And you've added on a number, a, another rak'ah. Okay? Then you come back for the qiyam, you pray eight rak'ah of qiyam, and you pray the three witr at the end. Yes, this is many scholars recommend this. Why? Because you're praying the whole thing with the Imam at the, at the beginning. Okay? And then you come back for the qiyam, and then you've made witr your last prayer as well. Okay? So this is... I'm not going to tell you which one to do, this is the one I do. But either three of those are permissible and okay for you to do, inshallah. I hope that's clear because like I said, every single year, it's the same question. What do we do with the witr if we're coming back? So they, those are the three options. Clear? Crystal? Crystal.